Hey everybody, so I thought I'd give Base44 a try. This is real time, unfiltered. I've never done this before, but I did do something very quickly before I thought to record, and that is provide Base44 with this prompt. So just a quick explainer, <laughs> explainer, uh, a quick explainer. In e-commerce, there is a process called VBOSS, which stands for variables based on selection specs or variants based on selection specs. So you can think of a selection spec like color or size for a t-shirt. Um, the VBOSS process is essentially taking the different attributes uh, that are variable and permutating those uh, into a big old list of unique SKUs. And uh, some e-coms do this really well, some of them don't. Sometimes you want to do this in a spreadsheet uh, because you're uploading a big data set. Uh, so I thought, let's see if Base64, uh, or not Base64, Base44 can do this for me. So that's the prompt I gave it. This is what it did. Here's what I have. And so now I am going to put it through its paces. Let's say the parent SKU is EEP 1001. Uh, we'll call this t-shirt and let's give it an attribute name like size and we'll do small medium large and then let's add another attribute call it color do yellow black white and let's do logo yeah uh you know what just to really put it through its paces let's add another attribute and call it uh placement So you can imagine like with eight different sizes and a dozen different colors and lots of logos and lots of placement options, uh, you can very quickly create a really large amount of SKUs. Let's generate these variants and see how it does. Dang, that was fast. Holy smokes. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm super impressed. So not only did it do that, and it kept the parent SKU and then used the values um, for those attributes in the rest of the SKU, cool. Um, I would probably like actually ask it to use color codes uh, instead of the full color, and then maybe a set of numbers uh, for the placements. Um, but I'm immediately impressed with the speed uh, I like the way it's showing this to me. That was impressive. I didn't ask it to give me a copy button, but it did. And I didn't ask it to give me an export to CSV button, and it did that for me too. Uh, yeah. That's pretty dang neat. Thanks for the share. See y'all.